Today I'm going to process these rolls of film that I showed you in the last video. Um, they are Alfred HP5 120 roll films and I'm going to put all of the um, developing tank into this thing, changing bag, um, and put my arms in these sleeves, zip it all up um, and roll open this up and roll each film onto this which then goes inside that um, and I mentioned in a previous video that um, you will get two rolls onto one reel and um, if you roll the first one in until it locks out and then roll the second one in and stop the second one um, just as the film end reaches the lug um, they won't overlap and you, there's enough room for the two rolls which saves a lot of time if you're shooting a lot of 120, which I am these days. Um, and these are old films. It's been, I reckon, about two years since I've been able to even reach the deep tanks up here, um, just because I had to use this space to store things out of the studio and the van. Um, and it's going to be exciting because I'm going to reuse the chemistry that's been sitting here all that time, complete with uh, cobwebs. Um, but it looks clear. So while I'm loading everything I've got my chemistry heating up over here just in the wee hot water baths so I've got developer there stock bath and fixer um, and then photo flow in a bucket I just empty the films into that um, and then I'll hang them up to dry so that's going to be the process um, and there's really obviously not a lot for you to see when I've got my arms in that um, strange looking changing bag um, so I'll hook up with you again when I'm ready to process over there and that's what I'm left with so that these things fold down really handy um, all the films are in there I can pop this lid pour your chemistry in there and all the uh, papers off of the, the, the back of the film um, I'm not going to lie, um, that took me a lot longer than I thought it was going to and my chemistry is overheated so I need to wait on it to cool down um, and then I'll pick you up over there. So chemistry is at the right temperature now um, and I'm good to go but I'm not going to film it because it's a really like laborious process but developer tank with a film in it, my developer um, I've kind of settled on a developer called Xtol Kodak make it and um, I really like it um, I used to shoot um, Kodak Tri-X but it just became ridiculously expensive so um, that was my favourite combination so I've got HP5 film and I still like that developer and that's mixed one to one stop bath um, use it put it back in the deep tank and it will keep going until it turns purple or if you replenish it and the, the fixer is high pan um, and same deal with that, I replenish every, for every roll of film I put like 20 mil um, of fresh fixer in and just get rid of the, the, the excess um, and it will keep going for a very very long time um, so develop, stop bath, fix it, then wash it um, run in water for about 10 minutes constantly agitating it and then I put it in here um, just for a minute and that's got photo flow in it and it just makes it easier for water to to drain off of the film and then I'll bring it round and put it into this drying rack put it on and they'll be dry within 10-15 minutes um, so I'll catch you back then And we now have
dry film hanging up and I'll just take it out the drying rack on the light box and put them in bags negatives ready to contact print. I've definitely got negatives um, but my initial excitement is definitely um, a little bit misguided and I think it's probably the age of the developer but on a lot of these negatives I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it there's um, some kind of strange disease going on on the top of the oh, big word on the top of the each frame. Um, it's only affected two or three films, um, but yeah, it's quite annoying. Yeah, that's clear. Yeah, so out of the six films, um, two of them have a strange defect that would mean I couldn't really print anything full frame. Um, but I'm overall pretty happy. And then the next stage would be to take your negatives and make these. These are contact sheets. Um, it's just a sheet of photographic paper. Um, that you set your negatives on like so um, and expose it to light and um, gives you <laughs> um, wee Brody posing for the camera gives you um, a photographic representation of your negative um, at real size and that's that that I use to edit and mark up um, what ones I like, what ones I might print um, and I really love having these contact prints, I think they're a really useful worthwhile um, way to look at your work, to edit your work um, so definitely a worthwhile process